With the new Maxwell for Onshape connection, you can open your Onshape models directly in Maxwell Studio. Once you launch Maxwell Studio, click on the Onshape button to access your documents. Select the model you wish to render, wait a second for it to import, and you're ready to go. Maxwell Studio is actually very simple and basically consists of a viewport, an interactive preview window, the materials editor, a material list, the scene tree with general render options, environment options, an object list, and the attributes of what's selected above. And that's it! You can also drag and drop the panels to set the layout the way you like. The Maxwell Render Camera is based on a real physical camera model, and so all the settings are the same as you'd usually find on a standard SLR camera, like shutter speed, depth of field, ISO, and so on. So it's really easy to use. Let's add a camera and switch to the camera viewport. Now we have full control over the final image from the camera, just like taking a photo. Maxwell Render has been developed with easy workflow in mind, and one of the key features which helps you work both efficiently and intuitively is Maxwell Fire. Fire is a fully interactive render preview, which gives you a fast preview of your scene in seconds, and once open, updates the changes you make to the scene in real time. This makes it much faster and easier to get the look you want, by adjusting your materials, environment conditions, camera settings, or emitter intensity, and seeing the results immediately, instead of waiting for a test render. So before we go any further with the scene setup, let's get Maxwell Fire started. The Maxwell Materials system is as powerful as it is unique, and is at the heart of Maxwell's superb quality and realism. Maxwell's materials are defined in a physically correct way, and you may notice some concepts and options that are new or different to you. Maxwell materials, called MXM, allow you to build up different layers of materials on the same object, giving you absolute realism with effects such as subsurface scattering. Maxwell materials are not only physically correct, but also very flexible and versatile and include features such as bump normal mapping, displacement, and dispersion of light, as well as emitting properties. With Maxwell's Stacked Layers system, you can create sophisticated materials easily. To get started with Maxwell materials, we recommend using the Materials Assistant our easy-to-use materials wizard, which builds the basic material characteristics for you, making the material creation process much easier and saving you lots of time, without sacrificing any Maxwell realism, of course.
First you choose a category such as glass, metal, translucent, or opaque, and the materials assistant will help you create perfectly optimized materials for your scene in just seconds. We also host the online MXM Gallery, a community-based resource page where you can freely download hundreds of ready-made materials to use in your own projects directly from within the studio interface. Once your material is created or downloaded, you simply drag it from the materials list onto your object. Maxwell Fire will update the changes you make on the fly. Maxwell Render gives you various options for your lighting scene. HDRI maps, emitters, physical sky, or constant dome. The constant dome provides a uniform diffuse light distribution. It can be used in conjunction with the sun or not. Let's take a look at physical sky. This system has a sophisticated atmosphere model that reproduces skylight conditions at different hours, dates, and locations. The physical sky system is a really simple way to obtain extremely accurate lighting in your scenes. The atmosphere parameters allow you to customize the look of the sky and the resulting light in the scene, ranging from common earth values to exaggerated fantasy skies. You can also create presets of the sky settings to quickly load a new sky or share your presets with other users. It's also possible to save the current sky as an HDR image. Another simple way to light your scene is via HDR images, which you simply drop here into the environment panel, and there you go. Now that we have our scene set up, we're ready for the full production render. The core rendering application in Maxwell Render is the engine which computes your render and shows you the final image. Once you hit Render in the Studio interface, the Maxwell Render app opens as a standalone interface. This is really useful because it means you're free to go back and carry on working on another scene or iteration whilst the render is in progress. The Maxwell Render app has an interface which allows you to view the render in progress and adjust render parameters. Many of them can be adjusted while the render is in progress. When adjusting parameters, the image will show you the results in real time, thanks to the GPU. I'm going to turn off the environment light and import one of the light setup scenes included in the studio library. Maxwell Render does not use abstract lights typically used in traditional 3D applications. Distant, point, omni, spotlights. Instead, Maxwell Render uses actual geometry with emitting materials. This approach emulates what happens in the real world and mimics real-world lights, producing a high degree of realism, outputting smooth shadows, providing a natural light distribution in your scene, and increasing the overall quality of your image. 
Maxwell Render can handle large numbers of lights in a scene without the performance loss sometimes experienced in other applications. To create an emitter, first we need to add an object, such as a simple plane. We then apply an emitter material to the object. Emitting materials can be defined in a very intuitive way, using real-world values such as watts or efficacy. Alternatively, you can select an IES light with prefixed values. Maxwell's unique multi-light feature enables you to adjust the intensity and color of all the individual or grouped lights in your scene, both during and after the rendering process, so you can get the result you are looking for without going back to the scene, adjusting, and then re-rendering. Once you enable the multi-light feature in Render Options, you will get an independent slider to control each emitter giving you precise control over your lights mix. Instead of having to relaunch the render when a lamp needs some adjustment, you can just adjust its intensity, or intensity and color in the color multi-light mode, just by moving its slider up and down 